All right guys, it's the crack. So today we are fitting some BC coilovers onto the drift car. I'll show you why we're fitting the coilovers. The right hand of the driver front uh, kept on changing in the drift days. I thought it was just the cheap coilovers, but if you look closely, you can see the coilover is mangled. See that? So as you can see, the coilover in there is bent in two. I think it basically leaked all the gas or oil or whatever's in it, but look at that, you know. Nice and safe. So that's why we're changing those crappy ones out. So we've got my shiny new BCs there. Some stickerage. So got these from Driftworks, took like two weeks, actually more, so I missed the last TS Drift Day because I was waiting for these. So with the wheel off you can see in closer inspection just how f <laughs> and you can see it's all dried, agadooey dirt there and then suddenly it's wet all the back there so I think all the fluid from that just pissed itself out. So taking all the bolts off and then as you can see the bottom part of the coilover pretty much just fell uh, off the top part. That's one of them in, uh, set that to maximum camber. Also have these uh, off-centered, also have off-centered camber bolts. Gives you like an extra one or two degrees camber. There you go, fresh new BC coilover. So we've got the front coilovers on. Uh, I didn't change the ride height. I just left the coilovers, the height that came from the box. Basically I'm just gonna let the car settle and then see how low it sits. Then I can change the ride height. So that's actually plenty wheel clearance. Probably needs to go a bit more lows on that. The other side isn't so great. So this is the fender that I've crashed before. And just bash that with a hammer and put a lick of paint on it. That's probably gonna rub on the, that's definitely gonna rub because I can't get my finger through that gap. So probably just need to work on the fender. But I do have wide fenders to go on these in a later date. So we'll get the rears put on. Just wanted to show you bit better light outside here, the old coilovers. So this one was the passenger side, so there's nothing really wrong with that. As you can see here, top here, I don't know what you call that, it's just, that part is just loose and there's a lot of, a lot of play in there. And that's the screw. Well, no, I guess I could have, I could have wound that screw down a wee bit. Anyway, uh, that's that one. This is the main. This is the main problem. I don't know how this is actually possible, but the piston is separated from this tube. I don't know the correct terminology of this, but basically it's split in half, um, completely mangled. As you can see, well, I can't really see in there, but so don't know how that happened. I guess this is what happens when you buy uh, cheap coilovers. These are eBay specials. If you can see the right in there. There you go. This is the max. Peeding rods, not even speeding rods. So max peeding. There's definitely going to be a big difference in quality between BC coilovers and these max peeding rods. Anyway, back to it. Let's get the rear done. New BC coilover versus old Max Peeding Rod coilover. So, um, I just need to change the height of this to semi equal that uh, and pull it back on, and then we'll do the other side. So, we'll also turn the rear coilovers to Max Soft while the front go Max Hard. Fresh new BC coilover in. There you go, that's it. That's the back done. Still plenty left in the coilover to go lower. And uh, so if we want to get, you know, that's how low we're going at the minute. That's one hand, so not John Low. As you can see on this side, the wheel rubs quite badly. So the arch needs pulled, but just to compensate that, I'm just going to lift this up, uh, you know, like, you know, two mils or so. I guess this is just rinse and repeat. Uh, jack up the car here, do the same thing we did on the other side. And that should be the coilovers done. 
So, pretty straightforward. 17mm nut. Cool reverse sits on a wee spindle down there. Get yourself ideally a rubber mallet, but these coil overs are scrap, so that's us now. So that's one for the scrap pile. While I'm here, it's worthwhile me checking all the uh, bolts and things like that because this brake caliper actually came loose because one of the nuts, one of the bolts actually just came off. Uh, so getting a quick nut check. Surprise, surprise. The brake caliper. The lower brake caliper bolt is loose. So, so it's a good thing I decided to do uh, a nut and bolt check because the four uh, bolts on both sides of the sort of half shaft there were loose, like really loose, like you could just turn it with your fingers. So that's a bullet dodged. So let's take the wheel back on, see what it looks like. So I'm only tightening the nuts to about one ugga dugga. So the reason I only did one ugga dugga each of the nuts is because when this sits, I'm probably going to have to take off the wheels to change the ride height on all four coilovers, so there's no point in really tightening them up to the max when I know I'm going to take them off again. So I'll drop this side and we'll just do a four corner check to see how we're sitting. So that's that one then. A bit more clearance here, I think. I can't actually remember what the old one looked like, but hopefully that'll solve any of this, uh, this happening in the next 50, which is a lot of that. Just sheared tire. So that side looks alright. Uh, front. Yeah, good enough with that. This side's a bit of stuff. So this side's definitely lower than the other side. As I can get my full finger pretty much in there, but I can't on that side. And then that side. So it's a lot higher than the other side. Right folks, there we go. That's a quick install of BC Racing coilovers on an RX-7 FC. Um, as you can see, it's very straightforward. Rear's dead easy. I said 14mm nuts earlier, but actually 12mm nuts. So two 12mm nuts at the top, 17mm nut at the bottom. They come out no problem. Fronts, uh, again, simple. Four 12mm bolts bottom, two bolts that go into the hub. I've chosen to use a eccentric bolt on the top one to give you a wee bit extra camber. Um, just because I'm trying to run around negative four to front, zero at the back. Running the front of the coilovers on maximum hard, rear maximum soft, front got the coilovers maxed out uh, in terms of camber. And that's just the way I liked my car set up and um, everyone has their own preferences that's what I read online it seems to be a good a good balance for drifting anyway that wraps up this video don't forget to click the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us for more videos and as always that's us now